this week we're at Camp Quirky. Camp Quirky is a UK van life festival. You can rock up in your own van. Or just camp like us. And hang out with a bunch of fellow nomads. There's also a bunch of different stalls and vendors. Whoa. And even live performances. <laughs> Loads of different activities. Oh, yeah. Loads of vans. This awesome festival is absolutely packed with stuff and has the nicest, most welcoming community feel. And now that we're finally here, we're ready for the music, comedy, fan tours, and of course, loads of food. Let's go. See ya. See ya. Go past Silbury Hill, which is quite a famous round here. It's an ancient site. So we are on the way to drop our rabbit off at the sitters. We had some stress and issues last night, hence this. Uh, if you want to find out what happened, click here. So we were supposed to be there last night, but we're trying to make the most of it and stay positive. And hopefully we should be there by midday today. Camp Quirky time! So that stoop's all dropped off at the Rustic Rabbit Retreat. Now it's time for our retreat. Just gotta carry all this to somewhere. Let's say we go get our wristbands first. Rufus. I doubt I'll be able to have a hand free to hold the camera while we move this stuff. So who knows what you'll see. Oh! Ouch! I'll hold it with my throat. Here he comes. We made it half two on the Saturday. Not bad. Still missed half of it, but... All things considered, I'm quite impressed that we're here in the daytime. Let's go. So now we just have to put this up. Well, we've never put it up before. Look how good it is! It's so nice! Huge shout out to Wayne and Amanda from Now Boats Budley who's gave us the tent. Thank you so much! Right. Where are you? You in a tent? Rufus is surprisingly good at tents given that he's effectively got to live in a plastic bag which is his greatest fear. <laughs> he's scared of everything. For some reason tents don't phase it. Tents are all right. What about sandwich in the tent? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got Rufus's little area. Got the bag store. <laughs> The bed, and I've got some fairy lights up there too. That's a nice little bed, isn't it? This is Rufus's accommodation, and uh, that's what me and Amy will be sleeping on. Thanks, Rufus. Rufus, you are spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> We're finally set up, settled. And it's only... About six o'clock. About six o'clock. We're gonna go and have a shower and freshen up and wipe off all the bad energy. <laughs> we missed all the talks for today, but there's some live music tonight, so 
just going to make the most of it. See ya. Have fun. Rufus, no, Rufus, Rufus, no. You want a shower, mate? <laughs> See ya. Oh, Rufus, 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 Rufus. It's eight o'clock, Amy. Yeah. It's time to start our festival. Time to finally see the main bit of the festival. It looks like Ben and Emily. The whole event is solar powered by these solar panels. It's a lot beefier than our setup. That's a lot beefier than our setup. This is where we're doing our talk tomorrow. <laughs> the talk that we still haven't written because we were caught up last minute and okay. got broken it's into. It's barely a stage, we'll it's just okay. a few inches off the floor. We'll be alright. <laughs> Effectively a posh chip bussy and it sounds amazing. It's called the Comfort Wrap. It's a wrap, chips and hummus, literally what else you need in life. Now I went for Ceylon and Beyond Sri Lankan street food. That's so good. We made it. You can take the boater off the canals, but you can't take the canals off the boater. Where's this cow hitching all over this festival? Listen, it's my new favourite knot, thanks to get Josh. Bet none of these van lifers know how to do a cow hitch, eh, Wes? <laughs> He's rapping as well with his duck hat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Have a good night. There's a bunny. Cracky 2023, are you out there? Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam Boom, and this is your fire show! tent now. It's pretty cosy. It's a little bit cold but it is really cute and nice in here. It's a very spacious tent which is great. Rufus is absolutely flat out and to be honest we're pretty exhausted as well but we've had such a nice evening and a really good late start to our Camp Quirky adventure. Tomorrow we're gonna watch some talks, we're gonna do a talk, like be able to see more um, of the stalls and stuff like that, so we're really excited. Now we're just going to play some top trumps and then probably fall asleep. <laughs> this guy didn't seem to mind sleeping in the tent. Just trying to get these two sleepy bums up. Morning! Morning. Mm. I'm up and awake, raring to go, and these two don't seem to want to get up, but the sun's out. So I'm going to set up our little camp for breakfast. We've got a neighbour dog, and Rufus is dying to say hello. Today 
his breakfast. A couple of Greg sausage rolls we've got on the way over and we didn't eat. Some pop tarts and some Oreos. <laughs> The problem is the ground is too soft, so the chairs <coughs> keep getting stuck. This is like a sausage sandwich. Hmm. Breakfast is done, and we think we're ready for our talk later today. We'll just sort of run through it a little bit between us. We've just come outside, getting ready, packing all the stuff away, and we've been absolutely inundated with spiders. I'm not going to go close. But there's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, at least. I hate that. Amy, I want to go home. Amy's dealing with the spider metropolis. Go, Amy, go. Ooh, I hate it. I feel itchy. Come on, guys. There's still one on the bottom. You're the bravest ever. Because we weren't initially planning on doing a talk. We didn't have to plan for what Rufus is going to be doing while we're talking. And it's anyone's guess as to how it'll be. We're hoping he'll pick the mood where he just settles down on his little bed. Just falls asleep the whole time. But if there's a dog in the audience, it's over because he'll just be crying, trying to play with it the whole time. One thing that's kind of interesting about this place is that they've used only compost toilets, which are these. Basically, there's a couple of steps up and then you're sat over a wheelie bin. <laughs> you do all your stuff in there, chuck a bit of sawdust on top, and then they siphon off the liquid and separate it and use it for fertilizer, which is cool. It's very unusual though. It works quite well and it's surprisingly not very smelly, but it does feel like you're on a bit of a stage. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? You feel weirdly visible even though you're not. So let's have a nosy around some vans. It's amazing how much space they can get out of these. Bed on top. Fit out is so nice, isn't it? If you watch King in it, we think this is the same bus as Custard, so we're excited to have a look around. So this is one of the higher ones from Northern Northern Conversions. It's so nice. It's crazy how big these feel inside. It's really nice. I feel like we look at these like other people who aren't used to boats. Look at our boat. Are you getting the bug yet, Amy? Are you? Bit. <laughs> this one's even got a little, little hidey hole oh. dog. Hi. This one's got a whole second story. Go in, climb up the ladder and sleep up there. And then it leaves you with all this, like a dinette size space. Kitchen, wet room. That's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. That one's for sale, Wes. Stop it. <laughs> we love Gregory's girl, we're keeping her. They look so shiny. This one's so nice and colourful. Wow. Got a full stove, doggy den. We'd have to get used to a slightly smaller water tank, though, wouldn't we? Oh, yeah, look at that. This reminds me of Canal Law. We've had a little look at some of the fans that are on display. It's really cool. We're getting a bit nervous now because our talk's in half an hour. So the previous talk, the one before ours, has just finished. And there was like, given that it's a small tent, it was a good turnout. So I have no idea how many people are going to show up for ours. It might just be Rufus in the audience. And um, his talk was only half an hour because it's an hour long slot, which we've been most nervous about filling that time. <laughs> so that's all right. Even if we get on stage, cry a little bit and then go away. It's fine. We wrote the talk about three hours ago. <laughs> we were supposed to come and work on it on Friday evening. Oh, I can't go! This is the whole thing. We're stepping in for, for our friends who couldn't make it. It is what it is. Yeah. We'll do our best. We'll put a clip here of the talk, but the full talk will be on our Patreon. So check it out down below if you want to see it. And we'll see you on the other side. 
It's almost time. A little notepad of scribbles that make no sense. That we wrote about two hours ago. There's loads of people that seem interested in what we've got to say, and that's terrifying. <laughs> I tried to make him face this way so he can't see people. Hello. Hello. Turn it on. Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. We're Amy and Wes, and we're going to talk to you today about what it's like to live on a narrowboat. you're on the water you can't exactly just turn the engine on and drive away we're on a straight line and we only travel about two to four miles an hour so you can't really get away that fast yeah, it's worth noting as well that health and safety isn't really a thing on the canals so that explains the 126 foot drop with barely anything either side of you um and i'm basically scared of everything but it is still it is still great fun it's very rewarding i think that's it thank you so much everyone for listening thank you so we've just finished our talk. It went so well. I'm actually really proud of us. It went so smoothly. I felt like we sounded like we knew what we were talking about. The audience was lovely and Rufus only barked once. So it went really well. Thank you so much if you came to the talk and if you're here from that, welcome, welcome. Now we're gonna go and check out some traders and get some food. Oh, I feel so much better now. We were so, so nervous it was gonna be really awkward. Um, yeah. But I think it went well and we had loads of questions. Really, really good. Yeah, well done. We did it. Time to reward ourselves with some amazing little burgers from a company called Zero Meat. It's a little dog show. <laughs> Rufus hasn't entered into any of the events. And the most spoiled dog award goes to... Wow. He's still crying. We're having a look at some stalls now. Look at this. You can get a custom control panel with custom switches with your logo on. They're nice, aren't they? That's so much nicer than that was. Oh, look, there's little Rufus heads. Rufus! What are you going for? White chocolate and uh, salted caramel. <laughs> so there's been a kids craft fair all weekend. And now they're parading all their crafts that they've been making. That is so wholesome and everyone's cheering them on. Genuinely, we've never been to a festival that's like got such nice vibes of like community and stuff. Like, it's really nice. So this is an old converted American school bus. I think the owner's allowed you to come in and have a look. Wes is in love. It's bigger than ours. How does that work? It's wider than a boat, isn't it? Yeah. Bath Wes! The decor as well is just Perfect. amazing. This is absolutely out <gasps> Wow! This is so cosy. Genuinely just in awe, this is so cool. It's really nicely done as well.
So believe it or not, there is even a converted Fiat 500 here. And the guy's not like small either. He's probably about my height, probably about six foot tall. And he can just go for like weeks camping in that thing and he's got everything he needs. So cool. Brilliant, very clever. It's an old converted British ambulance. How cool is that? When we first started thinking about whether we wanted to do van life or not, these were actually quite high on our list because it's just so cool. And obviously they're built for to handle a lot more weight and that sort of thing. So it's a Sunday evening now and there's nothing on tomorrow. So everyone's heading off in our little tents all by itself. <laughs> I don't think we were noisy, were we smelly? We are allowed to stay here tonight, aren't we? <laughs> I think don't so. know. I hope so. Gonna have a little chill in the tent for a bit. I look really weirdly soft and smooth here. <laughs> it's like really ambient light. We're just gonna chill for a bit before heading out um, for a little bit of evening activities. And I think it's just started raining. Everyone's knackered though, but it has been a really good day. Little tie-dye party boy. Oh, evening Rufus is out to play. Mm. That's very smart. Got it from Crafty So and So. Um, it's a van life trader here. How oh, cute is that? Here we go. Last evening. Going to the main arena because there's some live music and stand-up comedy on. There's loads of vans still here as well, so it's nice. We're at least we're not on our own completely. <laughs> yeah, just alone in the tent zone. Do they vegan? Oh, on here is vegan, oh, yeah. Got some onion barges from the chart bar. And a potato and a barge. Potato barge. Yes. <laughs> got ourselves a little seat under the main tent. We've got our snacks. And we're ready to watch some music and hopefully some stand up comedy as well. If Rufus lets us, because he's barking because there's so many dogs. All the food at this place has been so good and there's loads of vegan options. so that Rufus has got a bit more space to lay out so Rufus is really happy for the, for the new seats. The tent does slope a bit. <laughs> but whatever Rufus wants. So now it's the main, main event which is two stand-up comedians. When you're a little kid and you go to your mum, is Auntie Barbara's friend coming to the do? <laughs> Turn up at a family party and there's someone who looks like me stood at the, stood at the bar chatting to one of your uncles about gearboxes. <laughs> Time for us to sign off from night two at Camp Quirky and we've absolutely loved it. It's been yeah. so good, still riding off the high of how good our talk went. And we're back in our cosy little tent. On the outside it kind of looks like this lantern because it's so brightly lit. But it's really nice on the inside. But yeah, it's been an amazing festival. I definitely would recommend it. We've really, really enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It was absolutely freezing last night. <laughs> so we had to put these hats on. <laughs> <laughs> it was looks like dappy. <laughs> I've got this jacket on, this jacket on, and my pajamas, and I was still shivering. It was so cold. Rufus oh. seemed all right. Look at him. He is absolutely fine. He's cuddling his toy. Right, it's currently eight a.m. We're gonna be off the site by twelve. So we're thinking we're just gonna. Get it done now. First though, breakfast of champions. <laughs> <laughs> Time to put this thing
running away. That was horrible. It took so long to get it in. But we did it! Camp Quirky, done. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our Camp Quirky adventure. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. We're full-time narrowboaters and we travel all around the UK on our 50-foot narrowboat. Just documenting the ups and downs and figuring it all out as we go along. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge thanks to our patrons and for all the coffees. It means so, so much. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.